All right. Uh, frequency. Now, when we talk about frequency, um, we're really uh, just talking about how often it comes up. Okay. So, um, uh, in this problem, uh, they're, they're going to give you some constraints. So they're saying that A is equal to the event that a woman is at least 25 years of age. So, A implies a woman at least 25. Okay? B is that the woman is at least is at most. Oops, thank you. Is at most 29. Okay? Um, C implies that uh, the woman is between 18 and 29. And D implies that the, the woman is at least 20. Woman, W, is at least mm -hmm. 20. Okay. Well, to be able to do this problem, we have to figure out what they mean by all this first. What does it mean to be A? You know, what does it mean to be A? What does A equal as far as frequencies? Right? 18 to 24. Right. So to be A, you know, then we're talking about uh, to be at least 25, then that means at least 25 means I'm going from 25 down, right? You can you can go up. So I'm talking about 66 plus 26, right? Because I'm at least 25, right? It's kind of like saying, you know, make sure that the female is at least 18, <laughs> you know, all right? <laughs> Because otherwise, trouble. Yeah. So, same thing. More than that. So, at least uh, 25. Now, what about uh, uh, the next one? The woman is at most 29. So, be 29 minus. So, at most, she could be this. So, it would be this one, this one, and this one. Because she could be all the way up to 29, right? So, that equals... Uh, 66 plus 130 uh, plus 89. See how that works? Now what about when they say uh, when the woman is between 18 and 29? Well, be between 18 and 29 still means these three, right? Yeah. So it's the same as B. So C is equal to B. Right? That's a good thing to know. Okay, and then uh, uh, D is at, uh, when the woman is at least 20. At least 20, which means all of these. Right? That was kind of my rule going through college, but this has to do with uh, smoking or something. Pregnancy tests. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're just trying to figure out the frequency. So this one's telling me that it's equal to 130 plus 66 plus 26. Okay? All right, cool. Yay, we figured out. No, we didn't figure out anything. You said, well, we got an idea of what's going on, right? Now, what would, what, the questions down below are, and I'm not going to do these questions, but I'm going to do some questions kind of like it. So if I say, if I say not A, if I say not A, what am I saying? It's not A. I'm saying I want the frequencies 
that have to do with everything not A. So what I'm saying is everything that doesn't have this and this. So uh, I'm saying it's this. So it's 89 plus 130. Okay? Over the total, which is 311. Okay? And then I, I'll know, when I do the math, I'll know what the, uh, the frequency is. Okay? What about, um, what about if I said B and C? Well, the, <laughs> the thing is, B and C are the same thing. So, it doesn't matter. I can't add them up twice, right? Because that would make no sense. It'd so be more than what I had. So basically, I'm the same. B and C would be the same as if I did just B or just C. Yeah. It'd have the same frequency, right? Yeah, it'd be 26. So I'm still going to add up those numbers and get 66 plus 130 plus 89 over 311. Now here's, here's the tricky one. Here's the tricky one. Uh, I'm going to say, what about, what about A or B, okay? Well, that's going to be the same as A or C, right? But then I can't do that one because that one's on the test, right? So, <laughs> almost, almost, almost slipped. How about A and B? Or D, and we need to know what they're what they're talking about with this. What does or mean? And how are they talking inclusive or exclusive or? Right? Because when we're talking about this, we're saying A and D, right? Yeah. And here's the thing. This is where the Venn diagram comes up in, uh, to be handy. Okay. So, when we were talking about B and C, yeah. we were saying, here's B, and, and here's C, right? Yeah. So, um, when we're saying B or C, that would be everything in here. <laughs> or B and C, I'm sorry, B and C would be everything in here. Well, think of that. If this is B, right? Yeah. And B is um, 66, 130, and 84. 89. Right? 84. Where do you get 84? That, that's 8. 89. 89. 89. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, 89. So, uh, oh, is it B and C? Okay? So what we're saying is um, that's included in B and that's included in C. What's not in what's still included in B that's not included in C? Nothing, right? All right? So but when we're talking about say uh, not A, right? So now we have A, right? What's in A? Oh, well, we had 89 and 130, right? But what wasn't in it was 66 and 26. So they're outside of it. Okay? Um, and so if I were to circle something like uh, um, a D. How about D? D That's a tough one. So now, if I wanted to do D, that would be D, right? Yeah. So what's in D and uh, and A? D and A. D and A. Uh, twenty-six, one thirty, and sixty-six. No, just one thirty. Remember, A is <coughs> A is this, okay. and D is this. So the only thing in both of them this. Okay? okay. 
Now, when we say or, we usually are talking the exclusive or, not the inclusive or. And what that means is, and when we're talking or, we're talking not and. So anything not in both of them. So then we're talking this, this, this. So when I said D or A, then what I mean is 26 plus 66 plus 89 over 311. Whereas like the A and C, It's only four pieces, right? There's a three and another four. But, so, okay. So, and that's it. So, I know where we're going. That's it. That's it? Did, yeah. did it stop? No, I'm just going to go to class. Got to go to class? Okay. And, uh, and then it asks you another and question. So, you're good to go.